I right. thought the stadium would be an issue. Obviously, it's not. No, it's an issue is the fact that they've gone 11 and three two years in a row, one More bowl important. games, and a couple of these kids are wide receivers. Yes. Uh, if you watch San Diego State play the last couple of years, like they the need some wide receivers. Yeah. So if I was a wide receiver and I was here, this is where I'd want to play. That was Chris Yellow just about Chris Ello just about 24 hours ago opining on why the future is so bright at San Diego State. And I think this graphic will help better explain. Look at the local kids who are staying close to home. Bourne, Justice, Oliver, Scott. And Thomas, the Fab Five, all local kids, all on the PPR Top 100, some in the, or several in the Top 50 here in the state of California, and they're deciding they want to play their college. They can play their college football just about anywhere, but they want to play for Rocky Long at San Diego State. How cool is that? Not since 2010. This is the biggest local recruiting story since, well, since when Brady Hoke recruited just about. Five members of John Carroll's Oceanside squad landing five Pirates that are on that state championship team. Jay Feely, the headliner in that Pirate Fison. Now, five, the Fab Five, we told you about only four are here. Cameron Thomas is here in spirit, but his limousine was stuck in North County traffic. So uh, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself and uh, wh what school you play for currently. I'm Rashad Scott, Helix. Jared Justice, San Augustine. Kyle Oliver, Steel Canyon. Josh Boren, San Marcos. All right, JR, is it safe to say you're the ringleader in all this? Uh, obviously, everyone knows your last name. You come from, uh, you know, national headlines are not, nothing new to you. Why did you choose to stay so close to home? Um, I thought it was important to uh, try and do something that's never been done, you know, uh, build around the city that's done so much for me and everyone that's worked or helped me to get where I am today. You know, they've all, they all come from San Diego, so I thought it'd be important to pay them you know, their respects. Your dad, big league star, uh, what was his take on all this? How, how much of a role did he play in your decision? Uh, he played a huge role. He just, he wanted me to make sure I um, see every opportunity and make sure I don't cut my recruiting short and that my decision is uh, one that'll set me up for life, so. And, and one thing I can't help but notice in the video we're showing, you're catching the ball here. This year, we'll be seeing you Throwing the ball, correct? Yeah, definitely. Uh, talk a little bit about making becoming a quarterback at, for the Saints. Uh, it's huge. You know, we have a great tradition of quarterbacks with Ronnie Thompson, uh, Tommy Goodridge, uh, JoJo Hudson. Uh, we've always had good quarterbacks, so I think it's like now it's like my turn to kind of take over the offense and the team. And uh, I just want to do my best. How about my teammates, my coaches? Uh, shout out to all of them. So. All right, we're coming back to you in a moment, Mr. Scott. You perhaps know San Diego State better than anybody here in the Fab Five, Fab Four. Uh, you play in Helix. You you have grown up in the shadow of San Diego State. Tell us about the decision just to go down the street and play for Rocky Long. Uh, to add on to what JR was saying, yes, I wanted to do something that's never been done before. And I also fell in love with the school during the recruiting process, you know. Just not, not, not just seven on seven there, but just falling in love with the school, coaches, everything. Helix is likely to be the preseason, or I'll tell you right now, your school is going to be the preseason number one. You are loaded. Are you comfortable being the team that will be in everybody's crosshairs? Yes, I'm comfortable, and I want to, I want to stay on top. I want to stay on top. And let, let, quickly, tell, can you talk about the adults that were in your life and, uh, and how they may have influenced your decision? Uh, the adults in my life, more family, more family. And the, the coaches at San Diego State have they, tremendous, tremendous recruiting, and, yeah, mostly my family. All right. Michael, could you talk a little bit about your decision? We heard from you yesterday. Uh, how much did the, these guys influence your decision? Uh, quite a bit. I told JR when he committed that I would definitely uh, put San Diego State at my number one and uh, talk with my parents and get that offer, and that's what I did. And JR committed, Rashad committed, Josh committed, and then I just took the next step and did it myself. Now, this is a really exciting news for San Diego State, but it won't be as exciting if it's just one and done. Do you, do you think this is one and done, or do you think this could be a wave of, hey, it's cool to be an Aztec, and, and more kids are going to follow in your footsteps? I think San Diego State's been rising for the past three, four years, and I think with us doing this in the class of 18, class of 22 for San Diego State, I think that we're only going to spark something more, and I think the younger kids are going to see that, and they're going to start wanting to stay home at San Diego State and probably start something really right. special. Very cool. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Josh, you play linebacker for Jason Texler out at uh, San Marcos. Uh, Rocky Long's a defensive-minded coach. Was he active in your recruitment? Not that much, but I know, like, being a defensive coach, he's out there and he was looking at me. And, and Coach T Texler, what did he have to say when you told him you were going to be an Aztec? 
when I told him I was going to be an Aztec, he was like, go for it. He was, he said that I look like an Aztec from the start based on what my brother did there too. All right, guys, I'm going to just get together here. I'm just going to work down the road. Uh, Rocky Long is now the preeminent coach in San Diego with Steve Fisher's retirement. Just your thoughts about being a part of what is brewing on the Mesa, playing for Rocky Long. What, I, I, how much are you looking forward to that? I'm looking forward to it a lot. I know big things are coming for us. Rocky Long, what does he mean to you? Uh, he's a great guy. Can't can't wait to continue the winning tradition. Playing for Rocky Long. Uh, super important. You know, he's a, he's a great coach, uh, a great person. Uh, it's a big reason why I want to go there. Playing for Rocky Long. Uh, I think that he's a very respected coach. He's a very honorable man, and I think that I would definitely put my heart out on the field for him. Okay, uh, guys, I don't know if you heard, but the uh, first of all, someone's trying to steal my car. Uh, uh, your, your, your thoughts about... Uh, have you heard the San Diego, Char San Diego Chargers leaving town, uh, which puts Qualcomm Stadium in peril? Did other schools use that against you as, when they were trying, when you were being recruited? Did other schools say, "Hey, you might not have a place to play." Uh, no, and even if they did, it wouldn't affect me. We can go, we can go up to USC, play at USC, and put a beating on them. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that had no effect on me. I think it's it's uh, not so much where you're playing, but who you're playing for and what you're playing for. So that's more important to me. Be verbally committing and signing are two different things. We've all seen it happen before where someone said they're going to go to school and change their mind. How locked in are you guys? 100%. How locked in are you? 100%. All right, now, could you take a walk with me? We're going to go, we're going to walk over here to this monitor. Uh, uh, can we put the silver pick, can we show the uh, silver pick skin in the gala? Guys, I want you to take a look at this video as high school football players here in San Diego State. What does that trophy mean and how, how does it motivate you? Uh, it means the world. It means that I got to go out my senior year and really put it out and ball out. How would that look in your living room? <laughs> it looked pretty good, um, but I think it brings a lot to my school and my family and just my whole community. So that's really what it's uh, about. So you were at the podium, or you were you were on the stage last year, but you were standing, not seated, as a finalist. Your thoughts about maybe being seated this year? Uh, it would be a great feeling, and I would be honored. All right, you probably, as a defensive player, you would have to have a 30-sack season to be on. Uh, but you're, you're an Iron Hog possibility. What would it mean to be honored by the PPR in that fashion? That would be a great thing to me. Just know that people see my talents and that I can do stuff with it. All right. Well, there you have it. The Fab Four minus Thomas. We're sure he's coming, right? Yeah. Definitely. That's that's. A, we're not. He's not in Oregon right now, right? No, no. Okay. No. All right. Uh, so the uh, Fab Four plus Thomas, the Fab Five, starting a trend that we hope becomes, we hope we're doing this almost every year as we bring you kids who are staying close to home. Rocky Long, he's going to build a fence around San Diego County, and here's four examples. A fifth one is here in spirit.